I have tried Ardex's acrylic markers very recently, just a couple of videos ago for me, but this time around they sent me their 60 set of their regular acrylic markers, which I had only previously tried in their metallic colors. So I was very excited to use these and see if I liked them, because I love opaque mediums, I love acrylic markers, I had so much fun playing with their SimpTap markers, which is their other line, so I was really excited to get my hands on these bad boys. This is the set B of their 60 count set of these markers. It has a really, really beautiful color selection. I do have some pros and cons with these markers, which I would love to dive into. The set itself is currently listed on Amazon for $50 USD. Uh, if it's anything like their normal products, I assume it must go on sales regularly. I feel like more often than not, I see Ardex products on sale on Amazon, but that's just their regular price. That's what they're currently listed at. And it comes with 60 markers. So first and foremost, the very first thing I did with these markers before I even swatched them was put the little stickers on them that tell you what number they are. Their metallic markers from this same line also came with these stickers. I didn't feel the need to put them on them in that situation because I believe it was like a set of eight and it wasn't super necessary for them to have the colors on them because they were all pretty like different. But for this set of markers, I really wanted to put those colors on there. That way I knew what was what and it was a lot easier to pick from swatches. I this was so unbelievably tedious. I don't know why they don't have them just like straight up printed on the body of the marker. It would make a lot more sense because it was really tedious to have to peel off 60 stickers and put them on the markers when that should be something that's just like printed on the body. Um, it also comes with other stickers. There's like little tiny circle ones that I put on the ends of the markers. And it also came with wider oval stickers that I guess you could put on the body. I've seen other people use these markers though, and they put the stickers on the body and they peeled off easily. Um, so again, I feel like that should really be printed on the body. <laughs> that is one of my biggest like issues with this set is that it should, the color, the color name should be printed on the body. As far as actually using the markers, it is such a beautiful color selection. I specifically asked for the B set because the A set comes with metallics, which would have been repetitive for me since I tried out the small set of metallics and the B set as a whole just had like a much prettier color selection. It had some good greens in there. Um, really nice color selection, honestly. It's definitely really heavy on like the pink tones and the green tones, I feel like. I feel like the pinks and the greens in of themselves take up most of this set. I feel like it could use more reds. There's really only one true red color in this set and that would be beneficial. But as a whole, it's a really pretty color selection. The colors themselves, for the most part, are very opaque and lay down well. There are a couple colors that tend to be on the more milky side. Specifically, the white is the like absolute milkiest. It doesn't lay down very opaque. You have to do multiple coats. And if you lay it on top of another color, I feel like it kind of blends into the color below it, um, which obviously has to do with it being like milky. Um, it, I don't know. It's just like not super opaque, which can be useful in certain aspects, but also at the same time when it comes to just having like a white acrylic marker, you want it to be opaque. A couple of the other lighter colors also had that issue where they were just like not super opaque, but most things were opaque in one to two coats. Most I would say are opaque in one. They also tend to lay down on top of each other really well, which was super nice, especially because when I'm drawing something, unfortunately, most of the time I don't plan ahead on what colors go where. I just kind of like slap them on there and sometimes when you just slap them on there it goes really bad and things don't work well um so a couple instances i had to just completely go over a color i had already laid down with a different color and it actually worked very very well there was one blue marker i don't even remember what number it was but there was one blue marker i got that it came not being super juicy which like happens sometimes, I don't know if it's just that marker that I got or if it's that color itself is just like not filled enough or what, but there was one marker in my set that just wasn't super juicy. And on top of that, as I used these markers, I noticed over time that they were losing their juiciness. It's not 
super fast that happened, but I really didn't do a ton of art with it before I started noticing this, and it's most noticeable with the tip of the marker. I found that, especially for like the coral color, which I feel like I didn't use a ton of, um, I definitely noticed when I was making strokes with it, I couldn't get a fine line because there wasn't enough ink flowing to the actual tip of the marker. So it felt like it was kind of drying out. I don't know, I don't understand how these markers work because they're acrylic markers, but all of the other like acrylic paint markers I know of have like some kind of pump in them. They have something inside like a little metal ball to shake up the paint inside. So. I don't quite understand how these markers work. I know Ardex also has their Simp Tap line, which is, again, much more similar to other acrylic markers. Um, but with this one, I don't really know how they work. Uh, I did reach out to Ardex and ask them if they've heard other people have that same complaint of just markers seeming like they're kind of drying out fast with not a ton of use. Not entirely, but it was definitely like, I kind of had to work for it to get an opaque full coverage coat just in the sense of like it was kind of streaky after a certain point and i'd have to use a lot of pressure and push down on the marker to actually get full coverage over the area i was trying to cover um and they said they did not experience that they offered to send me a new set which i took because i wanted to see if that was going to remain consistent with a different set or if by chance i just happened to get a weird one that was just like not the juiciest. And it's been a couple of weeks since they sent out the other set and I haven't received it in the mail yet. So I will eventually do like an update video on this set to see if with the new set I get, if I'm still having that issue because these markers are honestly like absolutely fantastic. They are so fun to work with. It is such a nice color selection of markers. I feel like there's pretty good skin tones, honestly, for not a lot of mid-tone skin tones and not super dark skin tones, but you do have a pretty good like skin tone variety in this, which was really nice alongside having all those other vibrant colors. But if it is something where the markers get drier after a little bit of use, especially where a brush nib is concerned, then I can't say these are my favorite at all. I think, especially for the price point, I know you're getting a lot of markers with this and I know acrylic markers are very expensive. Like an individual Posca is, I think somewhere between like four to eight dollars, depending on what size you're eating. I think four might be like shooting low too. I just know they're expensive per marker. And for the price point, if these are juicy, they're great. But if they're not, it's not like my favorite, I will have to say. So I'll let you guys know when I get the new set, if I still have this issue or if it's something that maybe this set was just like in a problematic set and they're not actually like this. And this will not be the experience that other people have with them. Also, of course, we have to have an Aslan intermission. He has been so insanely clingy the past couple months. Ever since my partner's cats moved in, he has been the clingiest that he has ever been. He needs to be by my side 24-7. He needs to be getting my undivided attention 24-7. Uh, it's very sweet, but it is also so overwhelming. And anytime I actually want to do something, like for example, edit this video, or literally draw, he has to be up in my business, he has to be getting my full attention to the point where like I'll be petting him and editing this video for example or petting him and playing on my phone and he'll still paw at me and like grab at my clothes and stuff because he wants more than just pets he wants my full attention he wants two hands petting him he wants me looking at him which all of which he absolutely deserves because he is the sweetest most absolute baby animal in the universe um i love him with all of my heart he's my first cat and like this is my child like i gave birth to him this is my child i love him with all my heart but it is overwhelming when he gets like that which is all the time he it does not like he gets like that he's just like that all the time um he's a clingy a clingy little man and it's really nice when my partner is over because aslan will take it out on my partner too and i get like a little bit of a break he just like has to be in my face in my business 24 7. i love him but good god it's so much on to the pros of these markers i kind of mentioned them along the way 
They lay down really opaque. They're lovely. Like I said, most of the colors will be 100% good in one coat. And on top of that, most of the colors will lay down on top of other colors opaque in one coat, which is super nice because that means you can lay things on top of each other without any issues. You could use colored paper if you really wanted to. I personally just like straight up don't like using anything other than white paper. I don't know why. It just feels so different and feels so wrong. I envy people who can do beautiful art on black paper because it just feels like so different to me that I, I don't like it. I like to stay in my silly little comfort zone. And of course the markers themselves are really pretty. They do come in not my most favorite storage way. They have like their own individual little slots in plastic dividers, but they kind of wiggle around a lot and it it doesn't make the most sense in my opinion for them to be stored that way. It like holds them in place kind of, they still wiggle around a bit and they don't stand up straight. It's definitely nice because you can keep them like face down. That way the ink has the most opportunity to run to the like beginning of the brush nib. That way you can get the most ink output. However, I personally will not be using the dividers they came in just because I don't like them. <laughs> I personally just don't like them. Um, so like I said, I'll give an update in hopefully the near future on these markers whenever I get the other set and have a chance to sit down and use them for a, at least a somewhat decent amount of time. That way I can really compare and see if this one was just a fluke or if these markers truly just don't always have great ink flow slash they start to dry out kind of quickly. I'll let you guys know when that time comes. As a whole though, I really did enjoy using these markers. If they didn't have that issue, I would give these like five stars. Such a lovely color selection, so easy to use, really fun to use. I have been loving working with Opic Mediums since they sent me their last acrylic markers, um, simply because I've never had a big selection of acrylic markers because they're insanely expensive. So I've been able to collect small color palettes over time, but having a big set like this, such a lovely experience. It's so, so nice. I also had so much fun drawing that Miku. I think I've drawn Miku twice in my entire life, which is criminal. I never got into Vocaloid, but Miku is lovely. Um, it's based off of a figure of like a circus Miku. So cute. So good. I had so much fun with her. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. I will do an update on these markers pretty soon here and I will see you guys in the next one.